Hi, and welcome to another Hopper device quick start guide. Hopper is a modern semicolon and curly brace language similar to JavaScript and C Sharp. Um, it's an alternative for working on your Raspberry Pi Pico to, uh, there's your Raspberry Pi Pico. It, it's an alternative to MicroPython or the Arduino environment for uh, working on your Raspberry Pi Pico. Um, this device that I'm uh, for the, qu the quick start guide is for this uh, Pico LCD 1.44 from uh, WaveShare. And it's in addition to the screen, it's also got four buttons that come with it. The device driver deals with the buttons as well. So we, we open the editor. This editor is written in Hopper. Um, we put one line in there to use the device. Um, we'll find the name of the device under the, in the ecosystem under the devices folder. Um, if we want text, we should go to the fonts folder and include a font as well. And then um, this, this is the setup code. That's all you have to do to initialize this device. Um, and because it has buttons, we have a button delegate for button events and it'll call back um, the button events. All right, so let's build it, F7, same keys as Visual Studio. F5 to launch it in the debugger. And then I'm going to go put a breakpoint on our button event. F9 for a breakpoint. And now I'm going to F5 to run it. It's running in the debugger now. And if I go in here and uh, press a button, I've stopped on the breakpoint. F10 to print. It's, uh, let's see what, it, let's see what uh, it says. We press the three key, which is correct. We press the three key. And uh, I'll just run it. Break out of there, run it at full speed. And if I press the buttons, you should see, well, the, actually you can't see it's behind that screen, but you can see on this screen, the events are popping up as I press them. There you can see the screen passing by there as I press keys. Anyway, that's all you need to do to get this device working under Hopper. Um, at the end of the video, there'll be a playlist for uh, the language of Hopper and also a link to a quick start guide to get the environment installed on your Windows machine. Thank you for watching.